Initially into the marriage, I was still a very hot temper person. Like I angry, I can go and kick the door, bang the door. But I think my husband love and patient change. But for me, ten times, fifty times, I never do it. He still say, so mind. I believe you will change one day. I didn't want to burden him so much with financial issue. He was very, very financial stable before he know me. <laughs> so after he know me, right? Wow, I cannot already. I, I start to feel that wow, you could, there's a man who loves you so much compared to the previous one. Ah, can earn ten of thousand dollar, twenty thousand dollar, but he's only to willing to give you fifty dollars when you say you are out of cash. Okay, as compared to the current one, he only earn maybe three four thousand a month, but he's willing to spend like three thousand five hundred on you, left few hundred dollars for his own food, transport. Wow, yeah. So, uh, it's really the perfect one lah for me lah. So I'm very very touched lah. But then I overspend. He also keep everything to himself. Never tell me. Just say that you are happy. Then okay, you are happy. Then okay. So he keep everything to himself. Until one day I realized. <gasps> What happened? Your credit card all limit already, ah? He said, yeah. So he so, burst his limit for how many credit cards? Didn't burst, didn't burst. Ah, uh, okay. He tong, tong, he tong. He keep right. pay, pay, pay on the line, on the line. Never explode. But which means also he only pay the what? The minimum sum? Yeah, the minimum payment. The both of you are kind of like living on debt, living on credit. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So okay. how many credit cards were that? Last time only he two lah, he two yes, card, two. I two card. Okay, so about two <laughs> yeah. cards. Okay. So after that, I I went to work. I I changed the job already. Yes. I changed to in a uh cosmetic industry. So yes. I went to be in a Korea brand uh, company lah. So I was selling uh, makeup, mm. and then my sales was the uh, like very good in the company. So I had very good commission. Then after a few months, I realized <gasps> I can sign up for credit card. So then a few credit card within three months ah, uh, pop you... or bomb. You burst the limit. I cannot even afford to pay the the minimum. <gasps> so that's my husband say, come, I clap him for you. <laughs> he didn't scold me, you know. He was that type of like very easygoing guy. But can I say, do, do you know the effect of credit card? Then no, you didn't know. So you only know that oh, I can uh, just use the credit card. It seems so good. I can pay later. I always Is thought that... that I have very good income that time. So I thought, uh -huh. I always tell my husband, one month salary I can clear off one card, no problem. So for all those of you who does not know how to do <laughs> financial management, okay, if you apply for a credit card, you have to understand this: that if you do not pay up all, there is this thing called interest, and the interest tend to be very very high. So it may have some form of a compounding effect. Doesn't mean credit cards credit cards are bad, right? I mean, I use credit cards and I love the promotions that they have, the points. So you must have a lot of points. Yeah. Um, but you never pay money, ah. The point never come in <laughs> one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so all these years, have you managed to clear your credit card? Yes, I clear one, two, three, four, four, four. So left with the last two. two. Okay, you can do it. Yes, don't let, don't continue to let it snowball, lah. Yes, yeah. yes. Because I know that it will eventually affect a lot of things, lah. You know, like next year my house is coming, then I'm afraid that it will affect any reno loan, HDB loan, all yeah. that. So recently, I also take up this very low interest loan to clear off another two cards. So I chose to clear my husband's card first lah. Be kind to him lah. Don't let him so stressed. He didn't really scold me eh, throughout all this year, but of like more of like nagging lah. Keep saying you have to be thrifty. He is a super super thrifty man. One year he only buy uh. three shirt. We can go into Chinese New Year. Ah. I force uh. him to buy, then he buy one. If not, he won't even buy. So we will go to like Uniqlo. He will say, okay lah, this, this, this three color. Plain one, like 790. I say round neck also nice, what? The one lah, 990. Just the 790 one can already. <gasps> wow. Yeah. So you really have found the so called your ideal, you know? Yes. It's not really to earn a lot, but not only love you a lot, know how to save money. Yeah. So a lot of people don't understand about financial is actually this. It's not about how much you earn, it's actually about how much you save. And I believe uh, he might have saved up a lot of money. Uh, yes, really. But he didn't complain at all. Uh. He, he, would, he always tell me, you, as long as you're happy, then it's okay. But you know now, we uh, house is coming, you will 
uh, let me understand more lah. Then sometimes I see him very stressed, but he always don't don't tell me. He always like keep to himself. So slowly, slowly, I realized that oh, actually this man, put too much. Ah, mm, I that's cannot right. make him suffer with me. All his friends will say that you see lah, you don't marry this kind of woman already, like so burden, you know. So I I don't want people to say all these things. I can cook lah. So I cook very nice chicken hot pot lah. Then he got the idea of running own business, but I still have passion for acting. My dream is to be an actress. <gasps> yeah, so I started going to audition at the age at fourteen. Then in primary school, I even go to drama classes. Wow, it's like a very very natural kind of passion. I didn't have the luck until twenty nineteen uh May. There was this star search. Yeah, yeah, I went. So I told my husband, if I get in, then. You will have a superstar wife lah. If I don't get in, then we will go and sell chicken hot pot. So yeah, yeah, I never get in lah. So open the chicken hot pot. We have a very stable income. We manage to handle all the expenses like without borrowing anymore lah. Now we have enough, quite stable, and slowly we are able to clear off a lot of the loan lah. So I can see him also like more relaxed. You know his credit card lah. Wow, got budget already. Go supermarket. You see, can I pay? Me. Yeah, very very handsome lah. You know, last time he's like he's a man. He wants to say 我不够 Uh, I don't have enough. He don't dare、yeah. to say. He will just say, "Ah,、uh, never mind. Today we just buy one day grocery first. Okay, we will come back another day to buy." He won't say. And then I also understand because together for long already, so I understand. Okay, yeah, I, I always tell himself I'll continue to be thrifty. Okay, okay, yeah. Then he will feel very happy also. Do you believe that? Uh, probably. Uh, your first three is to really make sure that he has the better of you. Yes, he's very lucky to be the fourth. <laughs> 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 no lah, no lah. Okay. So do you believe in true love? Yes, yes. Wow, 讲到他我要哭了 The thing that really changes me, I feel that it's not from the past. It's、mm. more of his love,、yes. his patience. Even、huh. though my past lesson, I mean, I change, but to be a stronger woman, to be a better mom. But I didn't be a better wife. Yeah, so I was initially into the marriage. I was still a very hot temper person. Every time I will like easily get angry. Yeah, said, like, like it's crazy one. Like I angry, ah, I can go and kick the door, bang the door, then throw things. Yeah,、uh-huh. but I think my husband love and patience changed me. I look at this man, I was like, wow, very poor thing. <laughs> you know, like you marry someone. Like this ah, and then you still get so much, you know, like scolding, temper. So I feel very sorry for him lah. So I promise that I will change my temper. I promise ten times, fifty times, I never do it. He still say, never mind. I believe you will change one day.、Wow. You know that kind of patience that really changed me. And then he's the guy like if you want to argue with him, scold him or what, he just keep quiet one. He won't play along with you, and then he won't agitate you more. Then I become slowly more calm. After five minutes, ah, probably I will go back to him. Sorry, I'm very sorry. I lost control again. I always do that. Yeah. So now, the biggest changes is I reflect very fast on myself. Mm. Hey, what happened just now? Why I do that? So now it becomes ah, he easily get angry. Then I say, is it ah? I too long ah, never perform already ah. You want to eat me? Is it? Yeah, yeah. I direct translate lah. Okay. I so yeah. Last time people always tell me ah. Older man better, older man better. I always find the very old one from six years apart to eight years apart. Oh, until I met this one, one year, one year apart. apart. Very good. That's the reason why your chicken hot pot is called eight 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 nine. Eight eight、yeah. eight nine because of both of your birth yeah, yeah, year, right?、Correct. So he's eighty eight. You are eighty nine.、Mm. His name in Chinese is Jian Hui.、Yeah. Then my one is Li Xiang.、Oh. So if you call like. Hui Xiang Ji Gong Bao. It doesn't sound nice, also lah. So I want a number or something that is easy to, you know, remember. And also, I I know you are in a very special trade also, because、uh, you are known as the hawker premier in the Singapore terminology, which means、uh, it is street food owner. Which ah、uh, what? Kind of street food specialize. Okay, we、in. actually sell chicken hot pot. Ah, yeah, in a、pot. coffee shop. Chicken hot pot right now is actually quite in at this moment. 
how did you start to come up with uh, you know doing this business your mom was a hawker mm, does mm. it help you in no, that no no because i never wanted to be a hawker it's so tough i cannot yeah, make up nicely dress nicely go there i really don't want but i i need a stable income and, and then i have no more other choices my educational level was very low i can't get any job that offer me higher salary more than 2000 the highest salary they offer me was 1,800. In the next few years, they may increase la. But then, it's still very little la. For me, that I need to support like five kids. Okay, so starting a business was the way out financially for you to take care of your yes. five children, your family. So right. after we had the first door, it was very tough initially because I cook myself, I prep everything myself. Until one year ago, when my mother-in-law was sick, she had a stroke, so I had to take care of my children. So we actually have a full-time chef worker there. Okay. Plus my husband during this COVID period, I basically only handle delivery, packing of food. After that, I will go back home and look after my kids. How did how did you come up with the idea of? I love to eat chicken hot pot, so I always go to eat. But with the quantity I have, ah, uh, I go out eat is very high expenses. Yeah. So that time my son was also in puberty period, ma. You know they eat ah. Uh. Wow! I tell you, when the bill come, I was scared one. Eh. Every time I would say, "Hey, please control ha. Huh? Later, not enough money to pay the bill ha. Huh? You know. Then after that, I love to eat. Then I I cook at home. Mm. I cook at home. I try out different kind of recipe lah. Like. I read from YouTube. I learn from different. But then invite friend. In all the gathering ah. Uh, everybody come my house. Only chicken hot pot. No other food. But slowly they say, "Wow, it's very nice eh. Very nice eh. You can open a shop lah." Like. But starting, I didn't think so much lah. Like. Until when my husband said he wanted to start a business. Then do F and B lor. F and B, we don't need a lot of capital, mm. and then we just need to sell one one kind of food that is nice. Starting was the the recipe was not very very confirmed yet, one. Mm. So I still change during my first few months. Yeah, so getting feedback from everybody. After I change, I become have more flavor, more Asian flavor. Then I I engage this marketing company. Ah, okay lah, quite quite good lah. Okay. They they help me do the advertisement and all. Then it become a very viral video. I see. Yeah. So then mothership came in, Sing Ming la, all this came in. Then I become wow, very very famous. So call people now call me the, pa 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 jiu chiu bu. Yeah yeah. In Chinese we term it as a huo zhao pai ya. I think now quite common la. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I think now quite common. You know, even SQ students also come out sell mi pa all that la. <laughs> so it's it's yeah not something very special, mm. but. The most catchy part is maybe because they they share that it's a mother of five, uh. and then wow, figure so hot lah, you know. Then people say, wow, mother of five, you sure not? Each chicken hotpot can slim down ah. So a lot of people just come, and then I so call, 实现 my dream ah as a star lor. Everybody come. Okay, so you realize your dream to be yeah. A, so every day I like to, to go. Star, yeah. yeah, I like to go coffee shop. I suddenly become like wow, a celebrity. I go there like celebrity like that, you know. <laughs> Can I ask? Uh, so every time when you go to your uh, your store, do you dress like this? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I dress in a nicer T-shirt and short, so okay. I still look good. All right. Yeah. So you still make sure you look good to service the customers yeah. to make sure that they are happy with your food. Yes. Happy yes. with your service. Yeah. Then and I come back for in case business. people take photo of me. Ah. Right now that uh, you are with your chicken hot pot, any plans for your family and your business? How do you foresee yourself, you know, in the future? Yes, we we actually okay. First, my business we actually uh, planning to do a franchise mm. franchise model business, but then COVID hit in, mm. so we thought that nobody will want to franchise at this moment. Then we just hang on first, hang on. But very blessed, there's still a lot of regular customers support us. Then we. Never die lah, you know. Now F and B a lot actually suffer, so so just maintain first. Because mm. if I were to expand myself to ten outlet, wah, here MC there take leave, I cannot. So I don't think I'd be able to cope the stress. So I thought of a franchise model, maybe more relaxed for me. Mm. Yeah, so I can just kill car, collect money. So I still want to pursue my dream ah to become a superstar. So anybody ah, you all want to sign ah, I'm still available. Okay, before I reach older and older lah, I maintain very well. Look like twenty three actually. Yeah, so thirty two looks like twenty three. That's what she's implying. And then as for my family. My house is coming next year. Finally, after so many failure, ups and down, I have my own nest. Very happy, and I got this flat. It's called the new one, three generation flat. Wow. 
which got four bedroom. So my in-laws stay with us. It's one generation. Me and my husband is one generation. Our children is one generation. So then they have their own room. My kids have their own room. I finally can be a but a You know, yeah. for the past five years, ah, me and my husband has been sleeping ah, apart in between my two daughters. Yeah, very, very poor thing one. And also my son, ah, they come back, they have a room to stay in. Now they always come back, ah, they have to open the extra the bed, mattress. the mattress. Then the elder brother will tell the younger brother, this week I go back, next week you go back. Because very squeezy. Uh. So we cannot get to eat together. Lah. Then sometimes very sad. Lah. Then sometimes they were like, don't ah, so squeezy. You know, I hear really, I was very sad. Lah. Actually very excited for a new start. So it's your dream to have all the children to come back to you. Yes. yes. Stay together with you. Yes. With a big happy family. With a successful business. Yeah. yeah. Successful, stable. Lah. Stable yeah. is the most important. Thing. I think that optimism really helped you a lot to go through uh, all the different ups and downs mm. and that's why today you deserve a really really wealthy lifestyle yeah. okay and what I mean by wealthy uh, we talk about this what is wealth to you happy family mm. shelter over me food to eat the husband that's willing to give you 99.99 percent of his salary <laughs> mm. very very good actually now to me it's Perfect already lah. Yeah, last time I always think that you wow, I must stay in a landed property. I will have my own sport car. Then I always tell my mother, I won't stay in rental flat until the day I move into the rental flat. So sometimes you cannot say too early lah. Yeah. So simplicity is the key to wealth to you. Yes. And having your true love. Yes. Yeah, your your partner together with you. Someone who really understand you. Yeah. Give yes. in to you. That is true wealth. So thank you very much, Shirley, for accepting this interview and coming for this interview and share with us so much of your story. I hope it's an inspiration for many of you out there. If you feel that your life sucks, okay, if you think that everything doesn't go well, I can tell you something. Everything happens for a reason. And if anything, anytime you feel down, it is to prepare you to a better life in the future. So thank you very much, Shirley, thank for being so our guest interviewee for Women of Wealth. And ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed the session as much as me. And I hope to see you in the next episode of the WOW series, Women of Wealth. But to me, it's like you have to live with... I mean, you have to be happy with what you have. I used to not be happy with what I have and I realized all these are the things that I need to be happy. Yeah, because you you And then you really have to see some the run. So to all youngsters nowadays, uh, they always like to Hanna, you very low so like, you know, like talk to mother this way. Yeah. When you are the most Yeah, all this, you I heard so many times already, but it's not easy to do that. Yeah, until the age of 30, then I know what is called Xiaosun. Xiaosun is not just that you are not a mom, you are a mom. Yeah, yeah, so